friends, today in this video I'm going to show you how to realize a bag like that with metallic handle, with this metallic closure, very nice, internal liner and the body of the bag which is very easy to do but also easy uh, and nice. And then I will show you also uh, how to do the same bag without this metallic closure. So in this simple version I also have to do the handle, I still have to do the handle, but anyway I can show you how you can realize with the same technique also a bag with a normal closure by crochet. Okay. I'm going to work my bag with this tie cord I show you so that you can see combed cotton and uh, I will work it with a four millimeters crochet hook okay so prepare a foundation chain of 30 of course it depends on the measure of your hook and the kind of yarn you are using anyway uh, you can do a certain number of chains then you bend the half like that and you measure in this way to understand if the number of your chain could be enough. In my case I think it is enough for the total length I wish to have for my bag. Yes, I think it's okay. So in my case I can start with 30 chains. You can do any number of chains you like because we have no problems on multiple with this kind of stitch. So when you have made your right number of chains you are ready to start and an additional chain to turn and into the second hook from your in, uh, into the second chain from your hook sorry uh, do a single crochet like that and do single crochet one in each stitch across the row till the end of course like that at the end of this row turn your work like this and start your second row chain one into this very first stitch not into the second in this first one make a single crochet one inserting your hook just into the back loop of the stitch like that and do that in each stitch across the row like that at the end of this row you just have to turn your work and repeat exactly the same you did into uh, by the previous round so chain one and now single crochet one into the back loop of each stitch across the row like that now you have to go ahead this way just repeating this pattern for uh, the number of rows you need for your bag of course it depends on the closure you are using or otherwise if you decide not to use this kind of metallic closure but because you can also do uh, your closure in different way by 
crocheting, uh, then I will show you the alternative way for the closure. You go ahead so many rounds, you need to have uh, your bag so big as you wish. Okay, so my work now for me is big enough. So I want to show you better. In comparison with the closure, you see? This is the bottom of my bag. This is the closure. And the bottom is a little bit bigger than the closure, but not so much, you see? Just a little bit longer about uh, two rows two or three rows more in comparison you see so now we have to change direction when working i show you how okay now we have first of all to sew the two sides of this bottom for our bag after that, without cutting the yarn, we start working with a single crochet in each row in this direction, you see. Not anymore this way, but this one. Okay, first of all, without cutting our yarn, we just have to sew these two sides. Okay. So I joined the two sides of my bag from the internal side, of course. And now I'm ready to start working towards to this direction. And I start so this way, chain one, and now one single crochet in each row below like that you see this way of course one single crochet corresponding to each row below all the way around. So after the first row, now I have to do another row of single crochet one in each stitch but inserting your hook only into the back loop of each stitch like that so one two three and four and after each four single crochet after each four single crochet one two three and four you have to do one decrease just doing two single crochet close together and you do that after each four normal single crochet that's the second decrease so go ahead just doing this decreasing all the way around now another round of single crochet one inserting the hook just in the back loop of the stitch and of course uh, uh, also here decreasing after each four stitches now continue working doing single crochet one in each stitch across the row always inserting your hook only into the back loop of each stitch uh, so many for so many rounds you need uh, so that 
uh, your bag is so high how you would like to be and uh, after that I will show you how you have to fix your metallic closure to the your liner bag. Uh, must be fixed before you put the closure okay at first I have fixed my metallic closure with an invisible yarn like that so I have fixed the main points uh, so that uh, the bag cannot move and then I have refined with this cotton you see this grey cotton for as final finishing okay and then as handle I use this um, net metallic net that is possible to remove thanks to this uh, closure you see very useful so that you can decide if your bag is a pochette or a bag with a handle.